What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to today's video. We will be talking today about the top 5 tips to manage your MUT budget in Madden NFL 18. And this is a concept and some of the things that I've been working on. As you guys know, I'm a little bit new to the MUT community and today has really been the first, or this season has been the first season that I've really felt comfortable giving quality tips uh, out to you guys. So today what we want to look at here is the top 5 MUT budget tips. So the first thing that I want to tell you is to run it like a business. And that means you want to get on the auction house. You want to look at different things. And really the big principle is you want to have more in your bank account. So the bank account would be the top right hand corner. If you look at that, those amount of coins that I have, I have 46,000 coins. You want to have more money in that bank account than you can spend. Obviously the way MUT works, unlike real life, you can't have credit. So there's no need to really worry about uh, have, being able to buy more than you can, but what you really want to look at is value. And what I mean by that is where can I get value at every position? So for me, uh, one of the things, one of my favorite ways to do that is to take a look at the quality and I like to look at the 80 to 84 overall range when I'm starting out the year. And then I want to have certain traits and things that I want to look for via the uh, the articles on mutthead.com. So if you guys are not using mutthead.com, go ahead and look at that. But uh, anyways, if you did that very quickly, you would realize that this Eli Manning uh, is one of the better quarterbacks. I'll show you exactly which one we're talking about here. There are multiple uh, versions, of course, as one card, but we'll show you real quick just to kind of give you a breakdown of what we would do. So we would try to prioritize what are the top quality skills and then uh, it leads me kind of into my next tip for you guys. And actually, he's not on the auction house anymore. Uh, we must have him in our saving, uh, in our item binder. But my next tip uh, is that you want to look for the minimum effective dose. And this is a concept that I learned from Tim Ferriss, the author of The 4-Hour Workweek. And one of the things that he said that I thought was really powerful is you want to look for the minimum effective dose, which is basically the least amount of inputs that you can get to result in the desired output. And you can do that in business, and I think you can definitely do that in MUT. So one of the cards that I'm gonna recommend to you guys is this Derrick Henry here, battle ready Derrick Henry. This guy's going for about 9,000 coins right now. In my opinion, one of the best halfbacks you can get on a budget. And you wanna look for guys like this in Man NFL 18. You wanna to try to figure out, because if you look, He's a 47 cap value, 9,600 coin player. Um, what you can actually do though, if you guys aren't careful in MUT, is you'll be able to spend quite a bit more coin and quite a bit more cap uh, to get the same basic player. So you can see there, this David Johnson, a lot of people like this guy, but he's 82 cap. Again, you're not gonna be able to afford that. So that's what I'm talking about, that minimum effective dose. You wanna figure out where's the value, where can I get cheaper, where can I shave off cost, kind of like budgeting in general. Uh, the third thing that I recommend is solo challenges. Now you don't wanna just do any solo challenges. You wanna try to be wise in the solo challenges that you select. So I recommend certainly the weekly, the limited time solo challenges, always to me have the best rewards. So here you see I have to complete these Ultimate Legends challenges. Uh, along with a couple of other things. But that's one of the things that I really highly recommend that a lot of people don't do. I did not do a great job this year, as you can see, of doing my solo challenges. And that's why I've had much more of a budget squad than most people uh, in the community. The fourth tip that I'm gonna recommend to you guys is clutter-free. Be clutter-free. Clutter -free. And what that means is in your item binder, you don't wanna have more than you need. So uh, on my team, as you can see here, I have one quarterback, two halfbacks. I use three fullbacks in my lineup to save some cap. I actually need to put these guys back up on the auction house. I had taken them down. But what you wanna do, and this is gonna help you when it comes to sniping cards and different things like that, but you always wanna keep the minimum, of, again, going back to that minimum concept, you wanna keep the least amount of stuff in your library uh, so that you can get rid of it, so that you can make more coins, so that you can get more players. Uh, so that's kind of the idea there. And again, I try to do that with all my cards. If I'm not using the card in my lineup, I'm selling it immediately. Some people like to hold on to them for a rainy day or times where they maybe be able to get to better deals. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting rid of it immediately because if you keep it clean, 
um, then you don't have to do max cleanouts and you don't end up with 500 items in your binder that you're never gonna use. So in my opinion, keep it clean. I would also advise against going out and buying packs. In my opinion, number one, it doesn't work. It doesn't work every now and then you'll get a random person on YouTube who has just crazy pools. In my experience, it never really worked for me. So I want, I'm want i gonna steer clear of it and that's what I would recommend to all of you guys. And then the number five tip and probably the most important tip that I can give you guys in managing your Madden Ultimate Team budget is to prioritize. And when I say prioritize, what I mean by that is figure out where do you wanna spend big where can you spend small and where do you want to kind of be in the middle so for me my quarterback i spend pretty big i got a i got brett Favre here i got a 58 overall and that's or 58 cap value quarterback and the reason is because when you're throwing the ball obviously i see the most difference with the gunslinger trait and certain things like that but i don't spend i don't have michael vick for example so you gotta it's kind of a checks and balances i call it teeter-tottering where basically you you'll, you'll try to put in just enough where you level out where you want to be so that's what i've kind of done with my quarterback as you see i have brett Favre, who's not the greatest quarterback but he's certainly not the worst this leonard fournette i've talked about him a lot i think he's the best budget halfback in the game even though he's a little bit more coin than derrick henry he gives you much more value when you look at salary cap and that's what i'm playing but you want to do this teeter-totter kind of analysis and go through your binder. And this is why I highly, 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 highly recommend keeping a minimalist approach to your binder is so that you can go through your binder consistently and figure out what do I need to keep? What do I need to get rid of? I recommend doing that at least once a week, if not once a day, when you get into the nitty gritty of the season for Madden 18. So obviously we're not in Madden 18 yet, but what I wanted to do is give you some principles that I'm going to be using in Madden 18 in hopes that it will help improve your game as we prepare for the launch in these summer months. So just wanted to get this video out quickly to you guys. Let me know if it was helpful. Uh, if it was helpful, please let me know by hitting the subscribe button so that way you can be updated about all of our future content and our videos. Thank you guys and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another Madden NFL tip.